So graduation is just around the corner and it's so crazy that I'm gonna be getting my MBA or my master's degree. I feel like time went by so fast. So yeah, a few things I wanna talk to you about. So first thing is graduation. So if you're going to graduate from the University of Phoenix, I'm gonna show you how to apply for graduation and how to purchase your cap and gown. And the reason I'm going to show you that is because it was a little bit difficult because you have to navigate a few links. But anyway, I'm gonna show you fully in detail on how to do that. The really cool thing about this graduation is that I'm able to bring 15 guests with me. That's a lot of people, especially for me. I remember at Cal State Fullerton when I graduated, I think I was only allowed to bring four or five people or something like that. Maybe it was even six, but I mean, think about it. Compared to 15, that's awesome. All right, so I'm going to show you now how to apply for graduation, and then I'm going to show you how to purchase the cap and gown. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So log into your account. Once you have logged in, you will see something like this. By the way, University of Phoenix is proud of me. <laughs> Just kidding, it says that to everybody. This class is going great and I feel like I learned a lot. I have another video that goes a little bit more in detail on what's going on in that class because that class has been the most challenging and the most work I have done out of all my classes that I've taken for my master's degree. Okay, so once you scroll down, you will see the countdown to graduation. You will start to see this once you're closer to finishing your program. And as you can see, I have one course left. Click on prepare to graduate. And yes, you can still click on this. I think even if you have like about four or five classes left. This is important that you go ahead and do this step early on once you see that option. As you scroll down, you will see a update name and mailing address. Make sure you click on that and update your name and address because this is where University of Phoenix will pull information on how you want your name on your diploma and where to send it to. Make sure all that information is correct and confirm it. Okay, so that is the first step. So go back to your home page, scroll down and click on academic plan. This will show up and then scroll down. You will see under graduation, commencement, click on that. And then you will be taken to this page of commencement. Scroll down to see a few things. You will see what is required for graduation depending on your degree. If you are completing your associate's degree, click on that and see what is required. And if you are any of the other degrees, click on whatever you are completing and see what is required. Now let's look into ceremony details. It's going to give you the upcoming events for graduation. You will be offered to attend an in-person ceremony if you would like and that would be the Phoenix one. You can also attend the virtual if you would want to do that virtually. For the next tab, you will see what colors you would need or what cap and gown you would have to order based on your degree. And if you have any questions, you can go to FAQ or let me know in the comments down below and I can help you as much as I can. All right, now let's scroll up and click on view registration. So I accidentally already registered for this in-person event. I say accidentally because I wanted to register and show you how it's done in this video, but I guess I clicked on it by accident and it confirmed it for me. Anyway, in that section, you will see two to three options on how to attend your graduation, whether you want to do that in person or virtually. So yeah, once you confirm it, it will list your registration status here and it will say confirmed. Let's click on view schedule and register. So this is how it looks like when you are about to select which graduation you would like to attend. There is a California graduation, but it only provides eight tickets, but still that's an option. So let's click back to commencement home. So to purchase your cap and gown, click on view confirmation. And on the left side, click on this. It will take you here and then you click on this link. Then select your campus. There are many optional things to purchase, but for now, let's buy the cap and gown. Then select your campus and which degree you will be achieving. Click on standard shipping. I believe expedited shipping will be forced on you if you are purchasing the cap and gown last minute. So make sure to order it ahead of time. And you will see all of this and let's click on graduation packages. Here are four options you can choose if you would like. You can click on view details to see what it comes with before you purchase. You can click on other tabs to see what else they are selling. I just want the cap and gown so let's go ahead and click on that. Oh and it says here that the last day to order your cap and gown is April 16th. Well at least that is my deadline. So I will choose this option for myself.
Enter your name and area of study and height and weight. Add it to your cart and check out. All right, cool. So now that I've done that and I've already purchased my cap and gown, let's go ahead and wait. I don't know if it's going to be like a couple days or a couple weeks for it to arrive, but I will see you. Um, I was going to say in a couple days or in a couple weeks, but actually we'll see you in one second. All right, cool. So now it's been like about a week. So I finally got my package and obviously it was one second like I told you guys, right? Okay, so here it is. Check out the box. It's so cool, right? Um, nice and... Dirty. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it so I can show you what's inside of it. I'm actually really excited. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. So here's what's inside of it. It comes with, I actually forgot what this was, but it's on there. So here's, here's this. And oh, I guess it's just the whole thing, cool. It says, congratulations, smile, it's time to walk. Look your best at graduation. Cool, so it's the, the gown, the cap, and the tassel. So, I hope it fits me because I, I don't know if I put the right height. Oh, okay, so it gives you like a, because I'm pretty short, so I put five, three, five, four. <laughs> Maybe it's too small, I don't know. What the, this, my hand doesn't go through. <laughs> okay. There's the hole right here. Oh. <laughs> it's like an extra hand or something? Let's see if the other one has the same thing. But the, my hand doesn't go through again. Okay, so here it is. Oh, this is awesome. So it has like a zipper here. You can kind of see it a little bit. Your favorite color too. Heck yeah. It's going to be crazy because it's in Arizona, so it's going to be very hot. So I probably have to wear like a, a bathing suit underneath. I still don't know what this is. It's kind of weird, right? You're a Harry Potter. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you think it is because I'm probably not doing this correctly. And then I have the the cap, but I already have one. Oh, cool. This is for dumb people like me. It says, where's the front? Cool, so this is the front. How do I look? I wish there was a mirror. Anyway, it kind of feels pretty cool. Awesome. And then I'm gonna wear this one on top like this. <laughs> Just kidding. We still got to decorate this, so it's going to be cool later. I'll make a separate video for that. Um, and here's the last thing. Or two more things. Oh, three more things. Oh, it's just they're trying to pressure me to buy the frames. Here's the other thing. Uh, wow. Where the heck does this go? Is this so I can bring Kai with me? <laughs> That'd be cool. It's a little pocket. So I have a little doggy. I'm gonna put them right here so I can take them with me. No, I'm putting this incorrectly. I know that's for sure. But yeah, this is what it what it is. Here's the colors for my master's degree, which is pretty cool. Like it's supposed to be on your back, not your forward or something like that. Oh, maybe. Uh, so yeah, I we think this is how it's done. I think I need to look at the picture. But anyway, uh, I'm probably putting it backwards. I don't. I'm pro I I'm probably doing this all incorrectly, but. I just wanted to show you what, the, what was inside of it. I didn't want to show you how to wear it because I actually don't know how to wear it. And the last thing is the tassel. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. It's official. It's almost official. And I know that this one goes somewhere here. I think it goes from the left to the right, if I'm correct. Because I am always right, so it <laughs> goes to the right. <laughs> cool, so yeah, this is what's inside of it, so. Cool, so that's everything that's inside the box. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. But yeah, I'm so excited. So I will be vlogging the whole graduation. So make sure to subscribe. And also I will be vlogging the whole journey and I can't wait to bring you guys with me. All right, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bam.